Welcome to another on enter flash tutorial and this tutorial we're going to learn how to use the pen tool you may wonder to yourself why do I have Dora the Explorer Stewie Griffin and Hey Arnold up here Arnold Shortman why do I have them well I just figured that I would put the weirdest looking cartoons that you know children and adults look at and I was going to outline their heads I mean there I mean there's just stuff really wrong with these kids uh, they really should have the parents are irresponsible for letting their heads get to this stage in their life you know it oh, there's there's something really wrong with their heads because you know if you look in the background if you look a little close see that these characters they don't have heads like like Arnold and Stewie I mean he's this is looks like you know this looks like Stewie's father right here well anyway I put all these heads on one layer and I'm gonna lock that layer. I've created a second layer and if you want to know how to do that you just go down to the uh, new layer button and press that. Uh, now I have this new layer, layer 2. And in layer 2 I'm gonna select my pen tool. Well if, if you don't know how to import uh, images into uh, Flash it's really simple. You go to File, Import, import to stage which I've done which imports your items to the stage of course or import to library which brings your items into the library which you can easily drag and drop your items onto the stage like so alright let's get into the pen tool the pen tool it is right here it looks like uh, it looks like a one of those um, old fountain pens you know pen tool there you go Pen tool is very useful for making these really complex shapes. I consider these complex shapes. They're not the most complex, but they are. They're not an, just an oval or um, mere rectangles. Or they're, they're a bunch of curves and lines. And as you get better with drawing, you will begin to create more complex um, items. I'm going to go to the properties here, and I'm going to turn up the stroke to, uh, I guess I'm going to turn it up to 2. All right, now I'm going to begin with Stewie's head because it seems to be the simplest. And all I'm going to do is just draw an outline and, uh, yeah. So this is how it works. You select your pen tool. You start at a point, reasonably a point where maybe uh, there's a corner or, you know, where you feel as though when you go come full circle, it'll be easy to come to. So I'm going to start at this air right here. So I just click once and let go. If you can't see it, there's this like teeny weeny. Well, there was like this teeny weeny bubble there, but it is there. Trust me. So I click once. It's there. Now I find a point where I click again. So let's say I click on the next ear. Now when you click, you have to click and hold. And when you click and hold, these handles come up. Now you can see that. Uh, Stewie Griffin's head is not really going well to this because um, I'm trying to go beyond 90 degrees. Like if I let go here, it's it looks okay, but it's not really working because you know his head is cut off. The way you have to do it is you have to be considerate of what is 90 degrees. So from his one ear to the middle of his head is about 90 degrees. That's the safe zone. I could probably go a little bit, but I would say stick with 90. So let's try that again. Started from here, one click. Go to the center of his head. Click. And, oops, nope. Alright, click on his ear. Ah, crap. Click on his ear. And go to the center of his head. And that should be a pretty good point. Um, Okay, now I'm going to go to the next part, click on his ear, and that should be pretty okay. But you kind of see that there's like a hump there, even if you get really close, still kind of a hump going on there. And you're wondering, why is that? Well, in the pen tool, when you want to change from one course to another, meaning one angle or one direction, it's best to cut that, uh, that curve off. Okay. I'm starting from the air again, going to the center of his head, clicking. What I mean curve is this handle. These two handles that come out, they represent the angle that 
your line is going towards. And when you want to change that angle, like say if I want to go up, see it doesn't work. It just obeys this curve that I don't want anymore. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Click here on his air. Click on the center of his head. All right, great. It's 90 degrees. We're not going over. Now we want to change directions. What we do is we go to the center of these two handles. We click, and you see one of those handles disappear. That's removing it. Now we can go to the next line, and it works out perfectly. Now with this air, we want to change that angle again. And I'm going to zoom in for this. So we have around here. We just have to make sure we're not going um, above 90 degrees. That's how you draw. All right. As you see that line would make my line go out. So I'm just going to remove that handle. Let you just click, hold, and drag to whatever direction. And see, it's going to change. It's going to make a total drop down from here. So now I'm ready to finish or close up my item. You see that now my uh, pen tool becomes this circle. So I'm going to click on it, click and hold. And now my shape should be complete. Everything is connected and everything is together. If I chose to, I could press K, which brings up my paint bucket tool, and fill it in. So look at that. You've just created a complex shape or a silhouette of a complex shape. Um, I'm going to go to my selection tool and remove that fill. Of course, you can go ahead and use the oval tool to get some eyes, and you can really do a, a stellar job with this. All right, so we did Stewie Griffin. Let's move on to Dora the Explorer. No, wait, no, okay. We're going to move on to Arnold. False alarm. Sorry, people. Right now, we want to go to Arnold's head. And we're not going to do his head because we kind of have an idea of how to do that because we're doing Stewie's head and they're pretty much from the same mold. What I want to get down is his hair. His hair is a somewhat complex item. So I'm going to press the... Ooh. All right, I'm going to press P for the pen tool. And we're going to learn how to make these, these sharp spikes that are a complex items. So I'm just going to start at one of these corners. Corner of his hair right here. Start click, and this doesn't go above 90 degrees, so I can catch that line there. I'm going to remove that curve by clicking right in the center. That handle goes away, and I'm going to pull inward because it's a, a inward, like a shark tooth kind of thing going on. Click that away because there's a lot of direction changes in his hair. Click that away and go to the bottom click and hold and drag till you get to that right angle finding in flash you know this happens a lot a lot of people do this if you're going to get into animation you may want to draw complex shapes and bring it into flash and redraw it by having one layer and all you're drawing on the second layer all right so i'm at the end of this point again of his hair so all right i have this last point and my ending point let me zoom in you can see when I'm over it, my mouse becomes this O type shape. So I'm going to click and you know drag it out, and that looks that looks great and outlined. Um, you can go in and fill in all the details. The the main thing was getting this this stuff. Uh, what the hell? This looks like a fin. Like if I can imagine this on the back of a fish. I mean, what is up with this kid's head? It's my God! Oh my God! Now I'm going to Dora the Explorer. Okay, Dora the Explorer. Like she's any better? All right. Um, I don't even know where to start with this chick. Oh my God! Yeah, maybe I'll do her here too. Okay, I'm just gonna you know start in any point. You know, I'm gonna start there. Start a line at this edge. And if you want to make straight lines, just don't, just just click. Don't click and hold. Just let it go. So. I clicked here, click there. This is another straight line. Just click one time. Now I'm starting this curve again. So I'm going to click where it, I feel is less than 90 degrees. Click and hold. All right. I'm going to remove that handle and I'm going to and I want to get the rest of our hair. And I'm going to go here. And you may say to yourself, "Oh, you could have went a little further down." Now I'm still holding my mouse button down. I'm clicking and holding. Um, I can't really get, I mean, I could get a good curve here, but 
this happens a lot when you're clicking you may over or under estimate where your point should be and that's okay with your mouse still down what you do you hold the space bar and the space bar allows you to move around the point so I can move it to the point I actually want it to be at and I, I think you can see where this is all going um, straight lines click click you want to make curves less than 90 degrees that's just how to keep things going so this has been a tutorial on the pen tool which is very vital and if you get better with it you can do some amazing things thanks for watching on enter flash if you like my videos please subscribe uh, comment or um, rate my videos uh, also go to my website on enterflash.blogspot.com and click on an ad which will put a few pennies in my pocket for the new year thanks a lot for watching on enter flash